Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason Bees. Today I wanted to share with you what we are finding inside our nesting blocks. Um, I have received a few emails with some great pictures. Uh, people that are possibly hosting their own bees are opening up their blocks and they're asking, what is this brown stuff? What is this yellow stuff? So today I thought I'd open up some of our blocks that we are harvesting and cleaning and explain to you what you're seeing inside your block. So I'll transition, I'll grab my macro lens and I'll show you what you're seeing. All right, so the first thing we're gonna take a look at is this cell and all of those sticky, wiggly yellow things are Houdini fly larvae. And how the Houdini fly works is she waits for the mom mason bee to leave the nesting chamber. Then she flies in and lays all her eggs in the cell that the mom mason bee is making for her baby. So inside that cell, there will be pollen and a mason bee and then a mud plug, but the mason bee doesn't realize that a Houdini fly got in and laid all her babies. And you know, one, two, three, I mean, there's probably 20 or 30 little tiny baby Houdini fly in that one cell. It consumes all the pollen and the baby mason bee. And then these little Houdini fly will stick around until the spring and they'll emerge with the mason bee um, and they'll repeat the cycle of going in and utilizing the mason bee nesting chamber for her own babies. Um, we get asked a lot of time what this fluffy stuff is next to um, inside some of these cells. Well that is frass and frass means poop and that type of fluffiness is the Houdini fly frass. So that's Houdini fly poop that you see there. You can see there's some more, they crawl along and they add to that chamber. There's some more frass from the Houdini fly. So, all right, let's take a look at a couple of other things. So we've done a lot of videos teaching you what pollen mites look like. Uh, we work with a lot of research teams across the country who study pollen mites so we can get a better understanding of them. And uh, we've shared with you microscopic pictures of these tiny little predators that really damage our little pollinators. Um, another reason why it's so important to clean is when you leave these pollen mites in these nesting chambers, uh, when the mason bee emerges the following spring, they have to crawl through that nesting chamber and go past and go out through all of those pollen mites. And that's how they reproduce. So those pollen, those pollen mites are gonna stick to the back of the mason bee, and then she's gonna fly off covered in pollen mites, disperse those on all the little flowers, and then those pollen mites will multiply rapidly and they'll eventually kill that little bee. So again, another reason why it's super important to harvest and clean your mason bee cocoons and sterilize your nesting blocks every season. So, All right, so inside our blocks, we will also find big clumps of pollen that have been left over. Um, either the mason bee um, didn't eat it all before it formed its cocoon or the little baby egg never fully developed in that cell and there was just a, a clump of sticky pollen loaf left behind. So if you see this inside your nesting block, that is what you um, can identify as just a pollen loaf. I see there's a nice um, healthy cocoon next to that pollen loaf. Uh, next to this cocoon, you can see all of these tiny little things on top of that. Well, that is frass from the mason bee. So when it was in the larvae state eating the pollen, it pooped a lot and then it formed its cocoon. Well, that poop just remained on top of the cocoon, but underneath all of that is a healthy, healthy cocoon with a bee growing inside. And when we harvest and clean, this is all the stuff that we clean out of your nesting blocks, all the frass, all the mud, all the pollen mites, Houdini fly, all of that gets cleaned and uh, nice healthy bees are returned back into your habitat. So let's see what else we can find. So we haven't seen too much chalk brood this year, which is a really good trend. Um, but this is a uh, little mason bee that got chalk brood on it. So when it's black like that, 
that is a fungus that um, killed the little mason bee that was developing and growing. So that's what chalk brood looks like if you see that in your nesting chambers. And again, you see next to that, what is that? We've already talked about it. That again is frass. That's mason bee frass on top of a really healthy cocoon underneath. So you see the mud, mason bee mud. That's another nesting chamber with a nice healthy cocoon in there. So we'll extract all of this, we'll clean all this up, and then sort all your little mason bees so they're nice and healthy the following spring. All right, so that's what we're discovering uh, this season with our mason bee blocks. Uh, not a lot of chalk brood this year, which is great, but still a lot of Houdini fly and pollen mites, which we will completely remove and sterilize and clean and get rid of all of those. So um, if you haven't sent your blocks back, please send them back. We're finishing up the harvest and we're cleaning everything. We're putting everything into hibernation and we'll get your bees all ready to send to you next spring. Our store is now open, so feel free to place your orders for the following season and give us a call if you have any questions. Thank you, happy pollinating.